Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. You know, and the reason for that is because I honestly, since my last video review, I just I haven't had anything new to review for you guys. It's not even really a review, you know, it's 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 pen gangsta looks at said pen. And so I mean I kind of provide my opinions, but for the most part, what I provide is this video is mainly me getting a new pen, unboxing it for you, and then inking it up and writing with it on camera. And then I provide you like, hey, you know, was it worth it? I don't know. What I do have is I'm gonna show you this pen and it's from a Turkish brand that I've never used before called Kilk. And I'm imagining it's Kilk, like it rhymes with milk or silk, but Kilk. And they are a Turkish brand and their pens are all made in Turkey. What I have to show you today is the Celestial Special Edition fountain pen that comes in this really cool purple box. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this sleeve off. So inside is this black box with the Kilk logo and I kind of like the way they do the K's because it rhymes and so they have inverted the K just so it, you know, you've got this really interesting appearance of their logo. Without further ado, let's open up this magnetically closing box. I know it's super exciting and open up. And first of all, let's see what this all comes with. So we've got, you know, the warranty information. So this is the pen that I got. Just, there's the photo, the Celestial Fountain Pen. And on the back, it just has some information about it with uh, about the pen, which we're gonna go over. Uh, but basically what it says is that this pen is warranted for two years against any manufacturing defects. So that's cool. And what else do we have? This is just a, another Kilk. It looks like a business card actually. Um, I don't speak Turkish, but there's a name of a person who, you know, does all this stuff with Kilk. I imagine he's like the owner. It's got a phone number on there too. So yeah, I mean, if anything goes wrong, I'll just give him a call. And of course, here's another, it's a thank you for your purchase. Um, it is just a Kilk writing instruments, little brochure. And it says that this pen is truly handmade, not hand finished, but handmade. And so due to the nature of being handmade, small differences between their pens from the same model may occur. So that's kind of cool. So what you might be getting is a pen that is very unique to you. And so that means that whoever the artisan is who created this pen did it by hand on a lathe and I think that makes it kind of special because you actually have like a human creating this pen and not a machine that is programmed to, you know, tell you if this pen looks okay or not or whatever. So I'm down with that. Finally, after all that paperwork, you have the pen. And the pen is sandwiched in between this kind of styrofoam, not styrofoam, but cushioned. And so that way it won't jump around in there. And so let's take a look at this beautiful pen. And I have to say, you know, I have an account on Instagram, obviously, but Instagram is such a trap, especially if I'm scrolling through there and I'm like, ooh. In fact, I saw this pen on Fonta Plumo's feed and they had it photographed, you know, with some other pens, but this pen in particular stood out to me and I was like, wow, that is a gorgeous, pen and I need to look into finding it. So I, I looked all around, like Pen Shelly doesn't carry this brand, I don't think. Pen Realm does carry this brand, but they didn't have this model. Finally, I found it at Gold Spot. Gold Spot, of course, had the pen and um, I was only able to get it in a fine nib, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But what really stood out to me about this pen was not really the shape of it, but it was the two different colored resins being used here. So you have a purple resin used on the cap and then an ivory resin used for the barrel. And I just, I do like the shape of this barrel, the way it kind of comes to a point at the end here. 
And I don't know if you could tell, but when I do some close-ups of this pen during the re-unboxing, there's like some lines etched into the pen that gives it a very nice subtle detail. Another thing that I thought was really cool when I read about this pen was all of the furniture that you're seeing on here is sterling silver. It is has kind of an aged look. It reminds me a lot of this uh, jewelry I like to buy. That's actually, it's a uh, jewelry manufacturer. It's located just up the road from me in Kerrville, Texas, James Avery. And James Avery has kind of this aged look to their silver materials. So I thought that was really beautiful. And here's the finial. And so these patterns that are featured on these silver pieces have meaning. So on the finial, you might notice there's kind of this round patterning. And that is from what the description says, it is a wheel of fortune pattern. There is a, a, a word, a fancier word that goes with it, but I'm gonna stick with uh, something that's easy. And then the silver band around the bottom here, which is right below the cap, it's just, I mean, really beautiful, intricate patterning. I just, Love it. Uh, it is representative of the complex order of the zodiac. So yeah, that's, I just thought it was really pretty. And even the clip, this beautiful clip is also sterling silver. So speaking of the clip, is it, I mean, you know, it's not like super springy, you know, it's metal, but it's not meant to be. But what's cool is like the shape of here at the bottom, if you want to slide it like onto your shirt pocket, there shouldn't really be a problem uh, with that or, or slide it in, you know, to whatever case that you're using. Well, let's take a look at the nib. So let's take this off. And what I really, really love is the section is that purple color. So when you take the cap off, and I don't know if you're a person who you post your pen or you keep your pen unposted. I particularly like to use my pens not posted. And I just love that that same look of when the, when the cap is on is also on the pen when the cap is off. So you have the section that is that beautiful purple color. And I like this right here. You can see it's kind of like a lip around the end of that section. So if you tend to have fingers that slide around the section when you write. Uh, this will help prevent that uh, your fingers from rolling onto the nib and getting ink on yourself. Now, the nib is very simplistic. It has the Kilk logo, and it also has like a pattern right under or around the logo and right underneath. And if you look closely, it has an F for fine nib. And this is a number six Bach steel nib that is being used here with the Kilk logo on it. And let's see, and there's that beautiful silver band. The great thing about Kilk fountain pen is that it does come with a converter. Yes, I hate that when pens don't come with a converter, but this comes with an international converter. So you can use international cartridges if you want, or you can use your converter. And I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but if you look closely at that ivory resin or the, the lighter color resin, you could actually see the converter through it. So you may, maybe you could pay attention to your ink level through this material. But I, I like that it has a somewhat translucent appearance about it. Does the pen post? Let's see. It does post. It doesn't post. I mean, it posts deeply, but it's like you really have to press it on there. Cause yeah, I mean, it'll just pop right off, but you've really got to press the cap on to the barrel. And I mean, it, it actually, I mean, it's kind of got a weird, but yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really stay on very well. And I don't really want to press as hard as I possibly can and do something like crack the cap or anything like that. Uh, but I mean, it does post. And so let's see what it, how it feels in the hand once it's posted. It's you know, it's actually very comfortable. It's a great size. It's a nice light pen. It's not super heavy or anything like that. And when I put my fingers on the section, I don't feel the threads cutting into my thumb or anything like that, which is great. Unposted, which is how I will likely use this pen because it's just, that's perfect for my hand. 
uh, it also feels pretty good. And you know what I've noticed is when I do put the cap on, it doesn't make the pen, it doesn't make it top heavy or anything like that. It's still very comfortable, a very comfortable weight. That is a really beautiful pen. Another thing I want to point out is that this pen does come with a silver polishing cloth. So when your silver does begin to tarnish, you can take your cloth out, wipe it down and make it look beautiful again. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this lovely pen up and let's see how she writes. Thank you so much for taking a look at this Kilk Celestial Fountain Pen with me. And I have to say, I love it. I'm not really a fine nib person, but hey man, I'd, they didn't have a medium or a broad, so I was like, uh, I could deal with a fine nib. And I thought the fine nib performed really well. It doesn't feel like it needs any tuning or any type of tweaks, which is always a good thing. But I really thought it wrote really nicely. It is a 20, 21 limited edition pen. I don't know how many there are. It's not numbered or anything like that. So once it's gone, it's going to be gone. This isn't part of their regular lineup or anything like that. But Kilk is another brand that is most definitely on my radar. I like this pen a lot. So let's talk about the price. Now the price, uh, I ended up buying this over at Goldspot, as I mentioned previously. In fact, it was really nice. They included a little thank you card in there with the purchase, which I, I think that's new. They hadn't been doing that before. And I got it for $290. Now, I didn't think that was horrible. And the reason for that is there are Italian pens that cost that are, you know, for example, the Leonardo Memento Zero is you know some of them are easily over two hundred dollars and they're made of similar materials the resins but the thing that you know i believe justifies this pen's cost are the silver appointments the sterling silver appointments to me 
is worth that added extra something because it has that beautiful patterning, which is specific to this pen, and it is a limited edition. So to me, it's my Great Dane hitting the table, so he uh, stretching at the moment. But to me, I feel that that cost is justified. Now, if you wanna get that cost knocked down by another 10%, in the coupon code section over at Goldspot, enter the coupon code Roy for my boy, Penboy Roy. So that is his, uh, he has a podcast and Goldspot is one of his sponsors. So use that coupon code, give Goldspot some love because they are a small uh, family owned business. It's a, a great people who work there. I mean, I'm sure if you listen to, uh, if you listen to Roy's podcast, he and Tom, Tom who works at Goldspot are always, you know, talking and they're hilarious. And of course, you know, everyone else who is there, great people. So yeah, I recommend this pen. I think it's great. Why not give Kilk a try, a new young company? So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about it. And that's how the ink flows.